Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? It's your friendly neighborhood content creator. Alright, so Shunha is just about to be announced on the new 2.4 livestream trailer. But I'm just gonna make a video on how I'm sort of preparing for her arrival. So something that has come to my attention is that she might actually appear or come into Genshin Impact in the first patch. Rather than the second patch, which is usually what happens when these reruns come along. But because the Lantern Ride Festival was February of last year, we could have a rerun on the second half of the Genshin Impact 2.4 update. That is why we should start preparing <laughs> from now. So I already started collecting some Mora because wow, I do not have any Mora at all. You know, go to one of these weapons and 2.6 mil. Obviously, you're going to be like, whoa, that's kind of a lot. But if for a new character, that's nothing. You need at least 5 million Mora to get it to like level 80 out of 90 and then some talents, right? That's what we're looking for here. And um, rumors are saying that she comes from Liyue, obviously with her, you know, her cryo vision sort of looks like the Liyue ones that we've seen so far. And there is a lot of suspicion of it being Liyue. It has to be. So what I'm trying to do is actually farm some book from Liyue. Obviously, I'm not doing hot on the philosophies of diligence, but the prospect look kind of bad as well but it's better than anything else gold looks kind of yikes as well however we still have time to get these bugs so i'm going to try my best to get them i actually already have enough of the Nevada j chunks or the cryo chunks and not enough to get her to 90 but it will be enough to get her to 80 and that's what we're looking for here for right now uh, i still need to do some more grinding obviously she has a new boss material or whatever um i don't think it's going to be this one this one is for ito i have no idea which one is going to be um it could be one of the past ones that we've had like the it could be a cryo cube for the boss material I, i'm not i actually i just don't know yet and i have no idea what kind of material she needs so i'm going to have to farm every leeway one i can find so here we are now um books looking kind of not good i'm still you know trying to get the most out of it right now we still have 216 um as you guys can see i have 216 and 229 definitely not enough to get her to 90 but i am trying my best to get there when we're talking about weapons here i do have quite the few amount of weapons if we just go over here actually all right this looks better i do have a few weapons here for her she can use the skyward spine she can use the catch the deathmatch or blacklift for any crit that she needs and this weapon i'm sort of interested if this works well on her if it does it's going to be a pretty good time genuinely curious if it does work this increases the elemental burst damage so if she does you know fall due to the elemental burst and you need elemental burst all the time this will be a good weapon for her to use i also have the crescent pike i guess for type star glitter um i don't think we're going to need this um even though it has energy recharge i already have an energy recharge one with a way better base attack and some crit rate um the fabonius lance i'm not sure if she needs the energy recharge particle gain this at this degree so i'm just gonna wait on leveling this up anyway weapons look ready to go at least in the four star options i only have one five star option which is r2 anyway and uh, yeah, she's, she's looking pretty good. Now for the artifacts, I don't really have any good artifacts at all. Like none. I don't really go to that, you know, domain on this account. Um, I do have this, I guess. And we're already uh, three in. I'm not really quite sure if she uses Blizzard Strayer or if she, you know, uses the, the new Emblem of Severed Faith one. If she does need this, I'm not really quite sure what she needs. So I'm just uh, going based off uh, Cryo to be Blizzard straight. And I'm going to have to farm this domain a lot. So yeah, I'm genuinely pretty excited for this character to come into Genshin Impact. I'm just genuinely curious what she does. And I just cannot wait to see her in the actual game. Um, there's a lot of controversy surrounding her in the Chinese community, but we're all good here. <laughs> so yes, let's hope it's a good time in general. And I cannot wait to have another cryo unit in this game. Like, we don't have enough cryo units ready. I'm talking to you, Yula. I'm talking to you, Ganyu. I'm talking to every single cryo unit in this game because we have a bunch of those already. Another cryo unit.
fun good stuff and not to mention yunjin is also coming to genshin impact as well hopefully she works well together with jenna because that's going to be an interesting combo having a geo and a cryo in the same team kind of weird but it would be a pretty interesting combo if they do work together um especially seeing dragon's bane on yunjin's you know character art so there is a possibility that elemental master will have to play a big role and whether it's giving elemental master to the character that's on the field or something like that that would be pretty interesting you'll have to farm a bunch of blizzard stray for this character but i don't think it's going to be too bad it will help me sort of farm for Tartaglia as well because he's uh, pretty neglected on this account. As you guys can see, he has pretty rainbow set here. He doesn't have anything going on. So maybe I should go in this domain anyway. So yeah, in terms of, you know, just gems in general, I am pretty much all out of gems and we only have 12 days remaining to collect the gems for, you know, from the battle pass, from the welcome moon, whatever it is. I have 12 days. So we're gonna we're gonna have to really scrap the event and some of the islands for some gems just so i can summon her that will be a fun time anyways but yeah and that's going to be it i'm sort of not really ready at all especially in terms of mora in terms of books in terms of just getting her to level 90 out of 90 and max talents it's going to be a grind so uh hopefully you guys did enjoy um sort of in a little bit of pickle but uh yeah going to be a good time anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and you guys can see sort of my progression and what i'm going to do to get shunha to level 90 and yeah thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next video very soon bye